Hi everybody, Carol from Carol's Vintage Treasures and today I have a Goodwill haul. This is the um, Shop With Me video I did uh, in the, at the Ahwatukee Goodwill, which is just south of Phoenix in Arizona. And I will show you everything I got. It was senior day, I did get an extra percentage off. But I'm just going to tell you what the prices are on the tags so you have kind of an idea of what I paid. I've got my Nope Not Today shirt I got from Timu on. I also have my earrings on I got from Timu. I really love them. I think these were a free gift. But they're purple and they're dangly and I love them. So, no promises on Holly being quiet. I've already had to start this over twice. I'm going to do my best with her. Okay, first of all, I got this. Um, coffee cup with Pooh Bear on it. Disney coffee cups always do really well for me. So this was $3.49 and there's the bottom with the Disney marking on it. It's in really good condition. So I think that should do well. There's a lot of breakables in here so you're going to hear rattling. Okay, I got this. I think it's a candy dish. It was $4.49, but that's what it looks like. They always have really pretty things at this Goodwill at uh, pretty good prices. Uh-oh. The top says $5.49 and the bottom, I mean, the bottom says $5.49 and the top says $4.49. I hope I didn't get charged that much for this. <laughs> Hopefully they just charge me one price, but I haven't checked my receipt. But that should do well. That's really pretty. Right. I got this vase. It's kind of a handkerchief vase. Red. Really pretty. I'm not sure if it's flashed or not. If it is, it's not showing anywhere to the paint. So I think it's pretty good. I got it for $3.49. I thought it was really pretty. Now, this Goodwill is in a really nice part of the valley, so they usually get pretty good donations there. Uh, this is another handkerchief vase. It's a clear one. I got it for $3.49 before my discount. I thought that was pretty. I got a lot of glassware and pottery and vases in this trip. So they're going to be hard to ship, but it's okay. I'm getting pretty good at that. And I haven't had any casualties yet. Okay, I got this uh, unicorn snowball. It was marked $349. I thought it was pretty. And I don't know how old it is, but it's probably maybe from the 90s, early 2000s. It has an original price of $12.99 on it. So we'll see how that does, but I thought it was really pretty. And it's actually, do unicorns have wings? I guess they do. I don't know. I was thinking of a Pegasus as a horse with wings, but anyway, that should do really well. I found another coffee cup. I thought it was really pretty. It's um, mother holds a special part of all that is treasured in her heart. I thought that was really nice. And it's a uh, by mark my words, you'll love it. <laughs> I thought it was beautiful. And if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it for myself because I love it. It's purple. All right. Sorry, Holly, I scared you. I got this bag. I think it's like a sewing bag, but it was $3.49. I thought it was really cute with all the butterflies on it. And cute little cute little bag to put your sewing stuff in your knitting that was nice let's see here's 
just another breakable. Uh, this is another vase. It was $5.49. It's really pretty. Like an art glass. I don't know if it's art glass. Yeah, I guess it is. I guess it's art glass. <clears throat> Wasn't sure if it was pot pottery or art glass, but it feels like glass. So I thought that was pretty. That should do well. I don't think there was any kind of mark on the bottom. No, the bottom just looks like that. All right, There's something here. This is like Christmas, because this has been sitting for a while. <laughs> and uh, oh, I think this is a paperweight. I don't even remember buying this. 99 cents. Little glass paperweight, very colorful. That'll look pretty on someone's desk. This shopping trip was the real first one with my car. And I was just so happy to get out. I hadn't been to that um, Goodwill in a, probably over a year and a half. But this is a candle holder and it's, uh, it's glass. I know it kind of looks like lucite, but it feels like glass. It's cold. And I have its mate here. This was $349. And I think this is the mate to it. It just looks exactly the same. But I thought they'd be pretty together. Aren't those nice? And they were $349 each. And I'll probably sell them as a set since they're really pretty together. Try to get all this glass out of the way first. All right. You might have saw these in the video. I did go back for them. They're little birds, they're candle holders. They were $5.49 each, and there are two of them. Hopefully they will do well. It's kind of hard to tell with clear glass. Um, but they do have good subject matter, so they might possibly do pretty well. Here's the other one. I really love going to this uh, Goodwill. And I went after work. I um, I think those are birds. Aren't those birds? Yeah. They don't have beaks. They're kind of just a shape of a bird, I guess. But they're really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say this is probably my favorite Goodwill and I hardly ever get to go there. So I went a little bit crazy on this trip. But this is big. They wrapped everything so nicely, too. I actually made two trips because I got a filing cabinet. Really nice filing cabinets on wheels. Here is an art glass vase. It was $9.49. I think maybe I can get some profit on that still. Uh, it just says on the bottom, made in China. So it's just an art glass face. But very pretty. It's going to be a booger to ship, but <laughs> I'm getting pretty good at shipping glass. I haven't had a big problem yet because I use a ton of bubble wrap and a ton of paper. I think, I think paper and bubble wrap are cheap compared to an unhappy customer. So I got another one of these. I am finding these everywhere. Uh, it was $2.49. <laughs> I'm hoping they sell for Christmas, but we'll see. You can put your little candies or decorations in there. Uh, let's see here. I think 
That might be all of the glass. Okay. I got this cross stitch. It's a Ucella a count across stitch. Classic roses. It was $1.49. It's like everything's in there. We'll see how that does. Uh, cross stitches haven't been doing too well for me. But I decided to give that one a try since it's really pretty. It's from 1996. So you can see that. I got another one of these. Better Homes... Uh, new cookbook, Bitter Homes and Gardens. Um, these sell pretty well for me, especially around the holidays. They have all the pretty pictures in them. This is the um, ring binder edition, and it's in pretty good shape. Um, so I think that'll do pretty well. Look at that. Doesn't it look delicious? But people like uh, these books because they've got the old-fashioned recipes in it. You know, the good... Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see if there's a year on this. I don't even remember. Uh, da, 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 da. 1989. It's in pretty good shape. I'll put that up in my Etsy shop. I got another cookbook. This one's the Betty Crocker's new cookbook. It's also the ring, ring bound edition. Uh, this one is from <laughs> sometimes it's so hard to find a date. Copyright 1996. So this one's a little bit older. But still, great recipes in here. Look at that pie. Isn't that yummy looking? Yeah, it's back in the good old days when we could eat anything we wanted, right? <laughs> now we have to count our calories and our cholesterol. Ah. This is a Tory Burch uh, eyeglass holder. The glasses are not in here, but there is a little bag and it seems to be in pretty good shape. I think maybe I can sell this on Poshmark. I'm not sure how much they're going for, but it was $1.49. So I don't think I told you how much the cookbooks were. Uh, this one was $3.29 and this one was also $3.29. So I think I covered the prices on everything else. I saw this. I'm not sure why I got this. It was $4.49. It's a, um, what you call it, Vera Bradley lunch bag. It's got a little place there for your name. And uh, <laughs> that's what the inside looks like. It's insulated. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that. I don't know. Sometimes I just pick up Vera Bradley because I like the looks of it. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Last few things. I got some records. Sean Cassidy to do Run Run. And I got uh, original cast of Sesame Street record. This one... Let's see if it has a copyright date on it. Uh, they probably hid it in here somewhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't see it right away. But it looks pretty old. It's got the old school. Is it Bob and uh, Maria and Mr. Hooper. There's Bert and Ernie. Oscar. Uh, Kenny Loggins, Night Watch. I used to be a big fan of his. I still am. But, oh, I didn't tell you the prices again. Sometimes I get going pretty fast here. 
Uh, this one was two two twenty nine. Looks like they're all two twenty nine. The uh, this one too. And that was two twenty nine. And I look them over before I pick them up to make sure they're not scratched up or anything. Because I've gotten them home before and they're just horrible. I can't sell them. Here's another one. Somebody come play with me on Sesame Street. And it's still got the plastic on it. So that's good. And it looked pretty good. Uh, 1974. 1974. Where were you in 1974? Were you even born yet? <laughs> I had my daughter in 1976. I was 15 years old. Do the math on that one. But she, we used to watch Sesame Street together. We kind of grew up together. But she is my sweet girl. Okay, I got a baggie with some fall stuff in it. Uh, 349. There's a little scarecrow and the scarecrow woman. And this is why I got it. It had Ziggy in there. It says, Boo, I love you. <laughs> he needs to be cleaned up. Hopefully, he's got a really dirty nose. <laughs> but that baggie was $3.49 for everything. I think that'll do pretty well. Sorry, you're shaking again. This, I swear, this microphone wire. I'm going to find an alternative. I am. Okay, I think that's it. I was so stressed out. <laughs> it was sitting over there probably for a month because I just didn't have time. I still have to go through and edit the Shop With Me video. I don't think it's very good, but I'll try to get some footage up there and this will probably follow it so you can see what I got. Uh, there was this lady following me around that day. <laughs> she was wearing a mask. And um, she was just getting up in everything I was doing. And reaching over me and everything. And I'm like, what is this lady's problem? And uh, I don't know. But I even coughed. Because I'm like, well, maybe she's a germaphobe. She's got the mask on. Nobody's wearing masks anymore. So I started coughing. She didn't care. She was just riding all up in my grill. I'm like, okay, lady. So you'll probably see her in the video. Oh, there's something I forgot. Ooh. I don't know if this is sellable. Christmas 1981 Snoopy in a psychedelic house. And... does still play. It's kind of loose. I don't know. I don't know how to tighten that. I'll probably just disclose it and leave it up to the purchaser to tighten it because I don't know how. Anyway, I thought that was cute and it was, oh my god, I paid $8.49 for that. That was bad, Carol. It does say Christmas 1981 on it playing Silent Night. All right. Make sure I didn't forget anything else up here. I think that's everything. I have a lot of paper to use. I use this paper when I um, pack things up and put it, I usually pack things up, put them in tubs, and then I have a spreadsheet that I use that tells me which tub the item's in. So I can just go right to it, pull it out, it's been working really well for me. I just do the Google spreadsheets. There's a little tip for you. But that's, well, that's all I have. That was a pretty good haul. I can't wait to get this stuff up and see what I can get for it. Even though I did pay higher prices, I think I got good quality stuff. With the exception of the music box. <laughs> so... Holly's been really good. She's over there chewing on something. She's been really, really good. Some of the videos she's been barking. So 
Well, this is getting to be a long video and I don't want you to get bored, especially if you watch the shop with me video. So I just want to say thank you for watching. Have a good day. And if you're out thrifting, I hope you find all the treasures you're looking for. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.